I've been thinking about September's body sex group as we're going into October's group. Yes. Because this is now my third group that we did together. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's interesting from day one to day two, when we sit down for the group share day two. Uh-huh. All the women that go around the circle talk about feeling happy. They slept better. Yes. And I never lose. I have never. And they feel relaxed. I have never lost an attendant. A t- yeah, if you go attending. to day one, you come to day yeah, two. I've never had a woman not show up for day two. Why is day one so healing? And I've I've known this for many, many, many years, and it's because of the genital show and tell ritual. After everybody has looked at their own and all the other women's genitals, it's like we are bonded. There is no question about the bonding. Yeah. And every time I go through that, I go. This is what we needed to do for feminists because we all go off in our little separate corners and, you know, and, mm-hmm. and it's competition and, and you're prettier or she's prettier or I don't look as There's good. There's also nothing you can do to make yourself more vulnerable than to display your vulva. Show every part of your sex organ with your legs apart, looking in a mirror with you right, and right. showing everyone else. And what was interesting it's like when we're doing, I've never had one person go, ooh, what's that? All of them go, oh, wow, hers is rose colored. Oh my God, hers is brown. Look, one side is this. It's all so beautiful. Yeah, they, they, it, we all automatically go into uh, vulva appreciation. Yeah. Which then, from there, you can figure out all the other parts of your body that are nice and okay. And that's the other thing women do is that they say, you have a beautiful body. You're, what are you worried about your breasts for? They're lovely. Or, you know, any whatever, you're not that fat. And so it's just, it's, it, we, we are at the heart of the female body. We are there. And the heart of sexual shame. Yes, absolutely. For me, it's the genital shame. I don't want anyone to see me. I'm not good enough. I'm not worthy of an orgasm. I'm not worthy of a partner who will go down on me or stimulate me to orgasm. I'm taking too long. All those things for me blah, blah. roll back absolutely. Absolutely. to genital shame. Now, for me, feeling convinced that I was genitally deformed until I was 36. It's a long time. That's a long time. Now, I didn't dwell on it. It wasn't always in my mind. But it certainly was one of the reasons I didn't like to have oral sex. Yes. You yeah. know, because the guy would be there and he could see everything and it was just too embarrassing. All of the blood work that came back from me was that I had a very solid testosterone level. I'm not, ta- ah. I'm not taking it. I'm not taking testosterone. Uh, I'm not even taking vitamins. I take nothing. What do I take? So what do you attribute this testosterone? Me and my vibrator masturbating and having orgasms. So of course that would generate testosterone. That would make sense. Of that course. Sense. So I have a very young vulva. And and, and, I, and the last and the women were very interested to see yours. It's, it's funny because we always start with me. I'm kind of like the model and the demonstrator. And we ended with you. Or were you second? No, we ended with you. you end, no, what happened is that I wasn't even going to do it. And then the women went, no, 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 we want to see We want to see yours. We want to <laughs> see yours. And I thought, oh, okay. And I split my beaver and boom, there's that big clit and those long, beautiful, draping inner lips. And all of a sudden I, I welled up with pride. And I think it's comforting for young women to see them, what they're going to look like when they're older and it's still beautiful. Absolutely. You know, and there's no, I think it releases you from that aging fear of, I'm going to get old and I'm going to be ugly or I'm not going to be sexual and what is there to live for? And it's like looking at you, it's like, wow, that's what I want. I can't wait to get well, older. I can't wait to live my life. Well, I don't think mm-hmm. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, thanks for the enthusiasm. But darling. I think it's true. I think there's a wisdom well, and a power. Uh, yeah, know, the things the, that, that, I, that I like about being this age is the freedom. It's total freedom. If we could get most of the population to do genital show and tell, feminism would whoosh, take off. I know. So, all you ladies at home, girls and women, look at your vulvas, look, look at, at their friends' and vulvas. do it with your friends. Do it with your girlfriends. They will do it with you. They'll love it. You'll giggle and laugh and then, ah, oh, then there'll be this exquisite bond. Well, as we were sitting there doing it, it's, it's funny because when everyone's nude and they're kind of doing space between that thing, we'll give each other space and all of a sudden, the space closes down, and it's They're not sexual touch. No, it's it's friends. It's friends. Friendship, friendship. Yeah. What a perfect blend. So.
go and look at your own vulva and look at your girlfriends and show each other. And isn't it interesting that we just finished the first design on our vulva heart pendant? Yes. Based on our logo. Yes. And when yes. I was looking at it, I just thought, like, this is the essence of the body sex groups. It is. You know, and to wear that around your neck, and it's like... I wish I had it right now. I love my vulva, and I love myself. It's and just it's, really beautiful. And it is our logo on, on the website. And I did that on for a, a video cover, and I did it with one she brush designed it. Chung, chung. It was it. It's perfect. So you, we'll have another mock-up, I think, with the clitstone in a few weeks, yes. and we'll be sharing it. And I'm it will be excited. on the website. Yes. Mwah.